Okay, good morning everyone. Good morning to all the children who are in our classrooms, all the year ones, the foundation, and um, all of the key worker bubbles. We've got three key worker bubbles in school, so welcome and good morning. And a big welcome and good morning to all of the children who are tuning in from home. And thank you to all of the grown-ups and parents and brothers and sisters who have helped you to get online to watch our assembly this morning. It's lovely to have us all together. It's a little bit strange. As you can see, I am in my office completely on my own. So this is probably the strangest assembly that I have ever held. Um, and But it's lovely to get everybody together, even if it is virtually like this. So welcome and thank you for joining me. For the next four weeks, I'm going to do an assembly and it's going to be at 11 o'clock on Mondays. And I'm going to do it on a different theme each week. And each week I'm going to set you a challenge. So your challenge is going to be something that you can do at home or in school. And your entry can be sent in to our admin email address. And your entry can be as big or as small as you want it to be. Every time you enter, your name will go into a drawer. And at the end, in the fifth week, in the very last week of this term, just before the summer holidays, I will draw out three names and each of those people will win a £10 Amazon voucher. So the more times you enter my challenges, the more times your name will go into the draw, which means the more chance you've got of winning. So please join in, even if it's a small entry. Today's theme is superheroes. So I have already read on um, the, some of the stories that I've been reading you. I read you this story, which was super bat, and we met Pat the Bat and he, his superpower, I wonder if anybody can remember what his superpower was. His superpower was courage. So well done if you could remember it. His superpower was courage because he flew across town and he helped the mice to escape from the nasty cat that was trying to eat them. And today I'm going to encourage you to think about what superpower have you thought, have you, have you developed during lockdown? So this last 12 weeks has been very, very, very unusual for all of us. And I think we have all had to show qualities that we perhaps haven't had to show before. And we've had to try things that we might not have had to try before. And we've spent longer doing things than um, we might have had the opportunity to do before. And I think we've all been amazing. I think you have all been amazing at developing those qualities during this very, very strange and unusual time. So. Those, some of those qualities, some of those superpowers could be things that you perhaps don't realise you've been really good at. So it could be things like patience. You could be showing really, really amazing patience to your younger brothers or sisters or your older brothers and sisters because you're not used to spending quite as much time together. Or, or it could be that you've been showing kindness to your neighbours. Perhaps you've been helping them with their shopping or helping them to do things because they haven't been allowed to go out. So have you been showing kindness? Perhaps that's been your superpower. So I'm going to read you a different book today. I'm going to read you this book, which is Super Kid. Some of you might have read this one before. And while I'm reading it, I want you to be thinking, what is the superpower that you have been showing during this lockdown period? OK, all right. I'm going to just move over a little bit so that you can see the book a little bit better. OK, Super Kid. All right, can you see the pictures if I hold it like that? There's a boy who seems quite ordinary. He looks like me or you, but in secret, he is super kid. There's nothing he can't do. Behind his glasses, X-ray eyes can spot a child in trouble. Then wee, he changes in a flash to help them at the double. If bullies pinch your bubble gum as you go out to play, Whoosh, super kid comes flying. Yes, he's here to save the day. He blows a giant bubble and the kids stick to its side. Then puff, he blows it in the air and off those bullies ride. When you're having tea at auntie's, but it's all the food you hate. And auntie says, more broccoli and piles it on your plate. Oh, look how much broccoli is on that plate. I like broccoli. Zap! Super Kid comes whizzing and before your auntie sees, 
he eats the dreaded broccoli and horrid mushy peas. There's a great film on one evening that you really must not miss. But your mum says, no more watching till you've tidied all of this. Look at the mess in his bedroom. Such a mess. Then Super Kid appears and wow, before you can say Zoom, poor mum is almost fainting. Surely this can't be your room. So tidy look. What if you're out with a friend and meet a pirate crew? who say, we're on a treasure hunt. There's room on board for you. But then they make you walk the plank. Yikes, in the churning sea, swim hungry, snapping sharks that laugh. We'll eat you for our tea. Splash, super kid can see your plight. He rescues you, then thwack. He sorts those evil pirates out and flies you safely back. So, when you're with your friends at school, watch carefully what they do. You might just find that super kid is sitting next to you. And that's the end of the story. So that story was trying to encourage you to think about the fact that actually all of you, whether you're sitting next to people in the classrooms, whether you're at home, all of you have superpowers of your own. So we've thought about some examples and I want to share one example with you of my little boy at home. So I think during lockdown, he has shown the most amazing amount of determination. He's shown determination in lots and lots of different ways. One way is he has learned how to do a somersault on his trampoline and he did 20 in a row this weekend. Um, and he didn't used to be able to do a somersault at all. So he's practiced and practiced. And another thing he's practiced, which I think has shown real determination, I don't know if you can see that, it's a, it's a record of his keepy up. So he did a keepy up challenge. And at the start, he was doing maybe five or six keepy ups with football at a time. Now, so this was at the start of lockdown, so this was 12 weeks ago, now he can do 31 keepy ups and I believe that shows real determination. He's also shown determination doing his schoolwork every day. So he's at home, he's in year three, he can't be in school at the moment and he doesn't really enjoy doing his work at home, he finds it quite hard um, and we manage to do a little bit every day. And I think that shows real determination, real determination to sit on your own at home and do your schoolwork. So this is what we made. We made a symbol of the letter D for determination and we made it out of Lego. So can you see? That's his symbol. So we tried to do it in like a Superman, like his badge in the same shape. So that's his D for determination. So you could whether it's friendship that you have, that's your superpower, whether it's baking, I've seen all the unit two entries for your bake off, some fantastic looking cakes and cupcakes that you've made. Maybe it's baking, maybe it's friendship, maybe it's determination, maybe it's patience, whatever your superpower is, there's no right and wrong. Could you make something that shows what your superpower is? So maybe you might make a mask, like something like this. Maybe you make, might make something out of Lego. Maybe you might make a cape or a cake with maybe your badge on the top of your cake. Anything. If you want to write to me and tell me what your superpower is and explain what it is and why, that's fine as well. Any entry, big or small, and your name will go into the draw. And remember, in the last week, I will draw out three names and you will win an Amazon voucher. So you can buy some lots of lovely books for yourself or at home. OK, so that's all for today. That's our theme, our superpower, superheroes theme this week. Join me again next Monday. It's been lovely to get us all together, even though I can't see anybody. It's been lovely. So thank you for joining me. And I hope you have a lovely day. I hope you have a lovely week, whether you're in school or whether you're at home. I hope you have a lovely week. Enjoy your learning. Um, stay safe. And thank you to all the adults who have helped the children at home to join in our assembly today. Okay, bye-bye.